Welcome back to Orange Line. It's winter sport time here at Baker, and Kelsey Epperson is going to take a look at what our new basketball teams look like. After several weeks of hard practices and preparation, basketball season is finally here. And for both Baker Wildcat teams, many new faces have joined the programs. The Baker women's basketball team is looking to improve upon its 15 and 16 record from last year. Captained by lone senior Taylor Stacks and junior Audrey Bryant, the Wildcats will showcase a combination of experienced returners and a handful of newcomers for the 2009-2010 campaign. Junior Aubrey Gustin is returning from an all-conference season last year and will be a force in the post position. Head coach Susan Decker said she's also been impressed with the play of junior Jenna Brantley so far, as well as the maturity from sophomore Gloria Tanmo at the post position. Stax returns with experience at point guard, and Decker said she's moved Bryant from a post player to the wing and is pleased with how she's adjusted. The Lady Cats have played in two scrimmages, one against a group of former college players and another against former Baker alumni to prepare for its upcoming games. We haven't quite formed our identity yet. I think that's something that uh, from a, a standpoint of just having as many new players as we have, I think it's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, we're coming along pretty well, feeling pretty good about where we're at. Decker says she will rely on several newcomers to contribute to the team's success. Junior Emily Gibson will be a huge asset to the Wildcat interior. Gibson is a six-foot transfer from Washburn University and a player who Decker looks for consistent scoring and rebounding. Decker says she has also been impressed with the play of junior Brittany Hines, a transfer from Hutchison Community College, who adds depth to the guard spot, alongside junior transfers Cameron Rowland and Janelle Robinson. Courtney Goodrum, another junior transfer, will also provide much needed depth at the post position. Yeah, you know, I think depth has been, uh, for, for this team this year, I think it's a really an, an added advantage for us. Um, it's been probably four or five years since we've had the depth um, that we have this year. And, you know, it just gives you that added experience coming off the bench. It gives you uh, those kids that you can play and play a lot of kids, a lot of uh, different possessions and run people in and out and try to wear the other team down, uh, which is what we try to do from a, an offensive standpoint, running and try to press teams and, and that sort of thing. So the depth, I think, is definitely one of our, our strengths. The Lady Wildcats tip off their season with the Baker Classic this Friday at 5.30 and Saturday at 3 p.m. in Collins Center. On the men's side of the court, almost a brand new team will perform for Wildcat fans this season as more than half of the men's squad are newcomers. With eight transfers and three freshmen, seniors Brock Etchner and Malcolm Greer anchor the team and bring back valuable experience from last year's 9-22 and 22 season. And the two... Uh Guys who played the most are Brock Entner, a point guard, and Malcolm Greer. Entner was an honorable mention all-conference player last year, and uh, Malcolm Greer was third-team all-conference. So there are only two seniors. Uh, we have Drew Berg, Connor Bouchard, and Joe Walker back, too. All kind of played uh, limited uh, minutes off the bench for us. So uh, we're kind of relying on a lot of new guys this year. Weaver says the Wildcats will rely on seven to eight newcomers for key minutes and await the recoveries from a few injured players. Junior transfer Jack Stratell, BU's biggest player, had a knee injury and is slowly coming back. And Ricky Harper, another junior college transfer from Southwestern College in Iowa, broke his leg last season and is trying to get healthy. Many other newbies will fill in key roles. At this point, uh, Andre Strozier uh, looks pretty good. He's a newcomer from Chandler Gilbert Community College down in Arizona. Uh, I've got a couple pretty uh, decent wingmen that are new, uh, Jarris Womack. He's a cousin of Richie Bryant, who plays football baker, obviously, and uh, uh, Austin Bond. They'll probably be starting at the winger or playing a lot. Uh, got a couple other new guys, uh, Manny Medina, 6'4", uh, uh, from uh, Bishop Miege. Uh, he's a junior transfer. Uh, then we've got a couple freshman type. Uh, Sam Kenny is a backup point guard. He'll probably play a little bit the point. Uh, Corey Anderson, he's recovering from some uh, knee injuries during the offseason, a freshman from Mansfield, Texas. Weaver says he has a good mixture of players and a deep bench, something the team didn't have last season. He explains that the Wildcats' only downfall is its lack of size, but hopes that the team's athleticism will make up for it. But, uh, they're working hard. Uh, I, I think uh, we'll be a fun bunch to watch because we've got some guys who can score. I don't know if we can guard anybody yet, but we've got some guys who can score. Uh, and we're probably, oh, maybe a little quicker and athletic than we've been. So hopefully it'll be a fun team to watch and uh, get the old uh, Baker fans uh, revved up and ready to go. 
Similar to the Lady Cats, the men also participated in the annual alumni scrimmage Sunday evening. The Wildcats officially tip off their 2009-2010 season Friday and Saturday in the Central Methodist Classic in Fayette, Missouri. This has been Kelsey Epperson, KNBU-TV. Thanks, Kelsey. Now it's time for our weekly sports chat with Zach Rocky and Chris Smith. Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Sports Chat. I'm Zach Rocky. And I'm Chris Smith. Chris, let's get started off with a little Baker soccer. How'd they do this past weekend? Well, both soccer teams performed extremely well this weekend, Zach. A 6 0 victory for the women over Culver Stockton on the senior night. Six different goal scorers all in the second half, so that some, says something about their ability to turn it on after the halftime break. Men were equally as successful. 7 0 victory. Luke Hyderovich on his senior night. Big hat trick to start things off. Steven Stewart added a couple. Matt Germain, another senior got one as well. So really fantastic performance for the soccer team. We will find out what their exact seating will be uh, come Wednesday for the hack tournament that will be this weekend. So good luck to both soccer teams. The women, should they beat Graceland, will nab the number two seed in the conference tournament, earning them a buy in the first round, and the men are waiting. They're still uh, trying to figure out if they're going to be able to host a game or not. So big games on Tuesday against Graceland. Make sure to go check out the soccer teams if they host a home match this weekend. All right, Zach, so soccer team's doing well. Let's talk a little bit about the football team. Well, the Wildcat football team played rival William Jewell this weekend. 26-6 was the outcome for the Wildcats. They put a beating down on the Cardinals. Uh, story again, seems like every week, Mac Brown, Richie Bryant. Mac Brown threw for over 130 yards passing. Richie Bryant had 228 yards of total offense, 155 on the ground, and then 77 in the air. Another great game for him, but also some good things for defense, too. Matt Brock was able to recover a, a fumble. He returned it for 92 yards for a touchdown. Levi Calhoun led the way with 14 tackles, one and a half sacks. So defense really stepped it up again. They only allowed six points. But a uh, big story this weekend, too, is uh, Mac Brown. Uh, like I said, he had 130 yards passing. He's closing in on 8,000 yards as a career here at Baker. So once again, he's had a great four years here. Uh, he's the number one passer Baker's ever seen. So just congratulations to Mac Brown and the Wildcat football team. They're now 5-3 and three on the year. They're keeping it rolling. They're playing well. I think what we see, they were ranked 28th in the nation now. That's so right. hopefully they can find their way back into the top 25. So good luck to Mike Grossner and the rest of his football team. But, Smitty, let's talk about a little uh, Baker Wrestling now. Hey, Baker Wrestling getting things going. They had their scrimmage last week. I know now they're anxious to start wrestling some other opponents. They start out with York College November 7th over there at the Baldwin Junior High Gym. So make sure to go check them out and give them their support. Uh, that is, I think, one of two quads that they have at home. Uh, so be sure to go check them out. All right, Zach, well, we are in Collins Center, so it wouldn't be right not to talk about this fantastic volleyball team. We have 30-3 and three on the year. What are their playoff prospects? Well, they start playoff the conference tournament this weekend on Saturday. They're guaranteed no worse than the second seed. So with that, hopefully they can take the momentum that they've had all year. Like you said, 30-3, and three, they're having a great season. The best volleyball season the Wildcats have ever had. So we just want to wish good luck to them. You know, Kathy Allen, their whole team, they've worked extremely hard this year. So good luck to you guys in the conference tournament this weekend. Let's go get Linwood in the conference championship. Back to you, Brittany. Thanks, guys, and good luck to all our sports teams this week. That concludes our episode of Orange Line. I'm Brittany Armberger, and I'll see you next week.